numbers, you have of course met them before, are our tool for counting and calculating. We encounter them every day and they are hammered into us from a young age. But exactly where do they come from and why are they considered so important? Humans probably haven't used numbers for as long as they have been existing as a species, seeing as how there are human languages which doesn't have words for numbers larger than two. No one really knows exactly when humans started using larger numbers, only that we have been doing so for over 50,000 years. We are however quite certain about what the first humans used them for, counting. Counting things is convenient, especially when you happen to live with other peoples in tribes or groups. It was used to keep track of things like group members, animals and belongings. With a basic number system in place, eventually basic mathematics started to form, and with basic mathematics came trade. People gave objects values and traded between each other. This was of course possible before mathematics too, but with the aid of maths this could be done in a much greater scale than before. Some traders settled down and created the first markets, the shopping malls of the time. Now people knew exactly where to go if they wanted to buy or sell something. In some places the markets grew bigger and bigger, and around them the first cities started to form. With a greater concentration of people, a greater concentration of thieves and violence is sure to follow. And in order to combat this, a state is necessary, in order to make sure that everyone behaves lawfully. If a king is to combat crime and create order, he needs resources. And there is plenty of resources in the cities, so why not just tax everyone who lives under your rule? We just invented debt. More advanced mathematics would be necessary for us to handle this, or more specifically, subtraction. Negative numbers must have seemed like pure witchcraft at the time, but it sure made tax collection easier, so who would mind? Somewhere around this time an unusually greedy king probably came up with the following idea. More cities under my control equals more money for me. The problem with this idea was that other kings were unlikely to just give away their cities. The solution was however much more simple. We never said that simple equals good. Create an army with all your tax money and take other cities by force. Now the first kingdom was created and at no great cost either with the exception to all the people that died and all the bloody wars to come in the future, of course. Isn't math just yes, beautiful? But after some time, people started to see that numbers could be used as a tool for understanding the world around them. Mathematics is one of the oldest sciences. The Babylonians, for example, used fractions and algebra. They also knew how to solve linear and quadratic equations. The Egyptians were certainly not worse. They knew how to solve a second-order algebraic equation. In India, the numbers we use today were invented, and in ancient Greece, Pythagoras' theorem was proved. By Pythagoras, of course. Even so, mathematics were not even close to fully developed. Much later, European scientists started describing the universe itself with mathematics. Calculating the path of planets, the force of falling objects, the speed of light, and the very fundamentals of existence, subparticles. Some people don't really understand the power of the numbers. They think that they are merely tools we use for counting things, but this isn't really the case. The more we learn about the numbers, the more powerful they seem to us. Numbers, and math more specifically, is our tool for understanding the universe, our home. Moreover, they are the main reason to why the human race have been so successful compared to other species on the planet. And we haven't even seen everything the numbers can do yet. Today, it seems as numbers can create life, as robots and computers become increasingly more complicated, and really, what is the human brain if not a complicated computer processing numbers? More and more scientists are starting to believe that the universe is made out of mathematics, and that the humans didn't really invent it. We just looked upon the walls and noticed the paint, so to speak. And if that isn't a beautiful thought, then what is?